Hi everyone, welcome back to the Hubian Talent Channel. This is Stella Bella. Today I'm going to be talking about what a financially abundant mindset is and how you can change your money mindset for the new year so that you can better manage your finances and attract more wealth for 2022. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about the difference between a financially abundant and a financially scarce mindset. So those are the two opposites. So most of us tend to have a financially scarce mindset, which means we are spending paycheck to paycheck, day by day. We're always worried about money, pinching our pennies, and if we want something, we'll save up very deliberately for that thing. And as soon as we reach our goal, we'll spend all of that money and then save up again for the next thing. Some of the things that you might hear a financially scarce person say will be things like, oh, I'm too poor for that. Or I can't believe it, I just got paid and I've spent all my money already. So on the other end of the spectrum are people who have a financially abundant mindset. So these are people who view money not as a scarce commodity, but as an opportunity that's everywhere for them to find. So unlike those with a scarce mindset, financially abundant people, if they want something, they wouldn't focus so much on saving up for it. They'll focus more on making and earning enough money so that they can buy it. They're not worried to spend money on the right things because they know they'll have the opportunity and the capacity to earn it back. Now, as we're getting into the new year, it's important to change our mindset a little bit, especially if we do have a financially scarce mindset, because this is the mindset of people who are constantly stressed about money, constantly budgeting, trying to work out numbers and calculating. And while it is very, very important and good to have a budget and to know where your expenses lie, what you need to spend money on and where that money is going to come from, it's also important to have some sort of a strategy in place to deal with money, a mindset that helps you grow your wealth rather than one that constantly has you stressing out about what you have and whether you have enough. The biggest difference between the two is that a financially scarce mindset is one that is based around worry and stress. It is quite internal, so you're constantly looking at the things that worry you, the bills that you have to pay, the expenses that you already have, and how you are going to repay those debts and have enough money to cater for your liabilities. A financially abundant mindset is one that looks outwards. So it's an external view at the opportunities you have to make money so that you can pay off your debts, take care of your liabilities and expenses without focusing so much on the liabilities and expense part, more in the making money part. Because the more money you make, the more likely you're going to be able to repay your debts and your liabilities and your expenses anyway. And it's not focusing so much on the things that exist already. You're gonna have those liabilities and expenses regardless. But the more you focus on the internal side, your liabilities, your debts and your expenses, you're missing out on the bigger view of the world and you're missing out on the opportunities you have that can make money to not only help get rid of all of your stresses, but to also have leftovers for other things to enjoy, other things that you actually want in life. A lot of us are used to having a scarce mindset so that it's hard to think that all of us have the capacity to actually be financially abundant. But we are all capable of changing our mindset and today I'm gonna to tell you a few different ways as to how you can do that. Now, first of all, the most important step that I feel when it comes to creating an abundant mindset is to be grateful for what you have. So rather than focusing on the things that you don't have, which is what a scarcity mindset is, focus on the things that you do have, the things that you enjoy. So not on the debts, not on the bills, not on the expenses. Focus on all the good things that are in your life. Once you start focusing on the things that you do have, you'll start to notice that you have a lot more than you actually need. Now, next step is to stop comparing yourself to others. A lot of us who are in a scarcity mindset tend to look at people who are well off in our eyes, people who seem to be doing better than us, and we like to compare ourselves to them. We start to feel bad about why we don't have what they have, why they seem to be doing so well. But what we don't realize is that they could be hiding a very hard truth from us. We don't see them behind the scenes, we only see what they want us to see, what they wanted to show us, what they wanted to show to the public. They could be struggling or in a lot of debt or in a really bad situation that you can't even fathom to get to where they are. Or perhaps they just got lucky, they got family members or external help to get to where they are. And that's something that you can't compare because it's a different situation, different place, different scenario, and comparing will just make you feel bad about yourself. And it also stops you from being grateful for what you have, which is the important number one step. Number three, start focusing on the opportunities to make more money rather than saving money. Now, have you ever noticed that when you try to save up for something in the past, you would save up, you will have some sort of a plan, pinch your pennies, maybe even put in $10, $15, $20 a week into an account. And usually one of two scenarios happen. Either you save up enough 
and all of that money disappears and goes to the thing that you're saving up for. Or the saving up process is so hard and arduous and so tedious that you end up spending that money on something else before you reach a goal. Both scenarios reach the same outcome and that is your bank balance goes back to zero and you have to save up all over again because you've either reached your goal or you haven't, but all of the money disappears because you focus so much on the money that you're saving, the money that you're putting away, and you keep looking at it. You keep focusing on this chunk of money that's starting to build up because your intention with that money is to spend it. That is what a financially scarce mindset will do. Now, a financially abundant mindset will still put money away because that's a smart thing to do. They might put 10, 20% of their pay away into an account that they don't look at at all. They're not saving for anything in particular. They have a few things in mind, but they just know I'm gonna put money away in case of emergencies, in case I wanna buy this thing later on. They're not worried and they're not anxious and they don't have FOMO about the money that's sitting in this account. They're not trying to save up for anything in particular. So they're not easily seduced by things to spend money on because they know at any point in time, if they want to, they can use that money but because they're not focused so much on that money, they're not focused on spending it either. What they are focused on is earning more money. They're looking outside at money-making opportunities and they're saying yes to them. They're attracting all these opportunities and energy to come towards them. And for those of you who think maybe law of attraction or a similar energy attracting another similar energy, that sort of thing is mumbo jumbo. That's fine, but the idea of all of that is that when you're so focused on a goal, when you're so focused on something such as money-making opportunities, your energy will be drawn to all of these opportunities that you might not see if you were focused on saving, if you were focused on just your liabilities and your expenses. It's more that you'll start noticing these opportunities more and more. And it's important to always be reminding yourself, to always pull yourself back if you feel like you're slipping back into a scarce mindset. You need to be opening your eyes, opening your heart to those opportunities that there are out there to make more money, make more income, so you can build and grow your wealth. Another bad habit that people with a financially scarce mindset tend to do is to pick the easiest and most immediate option for them financially. But it may not be the smartest option for them when it comes to their financial health overall. For example, interest-free only terms. Now, when we buy something, a lot of us want it immediately. Financially scarce people, they will be attracted to these sort of deals. They will be attracted to buying a $2,000 TV on a zero interest only for two years. That sounds amazing. But for a lot of people who actually take on these deals, they forget about it the moment they buy it. They see it as something that they don't need to think about until two years time. And guess what? Most people forget by the time the two years come around, then the crazy high interest starts rolling in. It starts adding up and then five years later, they'll realize that the TV that cost them $2,000 at the time that they didn't have to pay a cent for, but has only depreciated in value every day since they've had it, suddenly they owe $6,000 for and they don't have the money and chances are they need a new TV. Someone with a financially abundant mindset will either have the money for the $2,000 TV already, find a way to make that money or they would rather repay it with a normal credit card that charges a normal interest rate because they can be realistic about the situation. They're not easily attracted by these sort of deals because they know that it's not a realistic look on money. Now, another thing that you should be doing in order to build an abundance mindset is to avoid victimizing yourself. Now, there are a lot of things that happen to us that's out of our control and can cause us to be in a situation we don't want to be in financially. But it's important to feel empowered and take back the control rather than victimizing ourselves and blaming external factors for the reason why we don't have as much money as we wanted. Now, for example, if you've lost your job or you've been made redundant for whatever reason, it's really easy to victimize yourself and blame your circumstances for the reason why you're not in a positive financial situation but it's important to remember that you can gain back that control and you can look for other work. There are a lot of opportunities out there from a financially abundant perspective, a lot of opportunities out there for you to make money, for you to get another job. All you need to do is just open your eyes to those opportunities rather than focusing on the misfortunes that have happened to you. When you're constantly blaming another situation for your misfortunes, even if it is the case, you tend to focus on what you lack rather than what you have or what you have the opportunity to have. And by changing that mindset into something that is a financially abundant mindset, you recognize that yes, something less than positive happened. It may or may not have been your fault, but you're going to move on and you're going to open yourself to all of the opportunities that there are out there in order to achieve your financial goals. So in order to lead a more stress-free, happier, 
and financially abundant lifestyle, it's time to start changing the way we view money and changing our mindset for the new year. Take it one step at a time and you'll start to notice more and more of those opportunities that the universe provides you. Please feel free to drop a comment below or message me. My Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter is stellavella.au. And please make sure to follow the Hubian Talent channel. We are on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all of the social media platforms, Hubian Agency, Hubian Talent. Please make sure you follow us as well and drop us a comment with your own experiences or what you'd like to hear from us next. Thanks so much for listening and I wish you the best of luck in your financial journey for 2022. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.